Hello. I thought it was about time, given that I've been on YouTube almost exactly a year now, that I told you a little bit about myself. My name's Des and I live in London and I'm 67 and a half. And I started my YouTube channel just under a year ago. And why did I start it? Well, I have been watching YouTube for around about nine years or so. I think it was around 2013. And I started watching it because a fantastic beauty journalist called Sally Hughes, who writes for the Guardian newspaper in the UK, she used to post videos um, on makeup and skincare. So I started watching her channel. And from there, I started finding other channels. But it took quite a few years before I found any channels, apart from Sally's, maybe one or two others, but not many, that I found spoke to me, as it were, that were the right sort of age and demographic, and that spoke to me honestly about beauty products and makeup and how to apply it. And it's really only in the last, say, two to three years that I have found a really fantastic cohort of YouTubers that I follow, subscribe to on a regular basis, whose videos I really enjoy watching and I've learned so much from them. But one thing that was missing from these videos really was a woman my age who was British. Now you might think, oh well so what if they're not British? It doesn't mean they're not relatable and that's true. But I suppose there are times when there's some sort of cultural differences between the UK and the US which somehow filter through to beauty and skincare and that sort of thing. And I think that's what I was missing a little bit. And I just thought, well, as there don't seem to be any British women of my age, and please let me know in the comments below, by the way, if you know of any, but I couldn't find any British women based in the UK of my age in my 60s who were doing YouTube. I just couldn't find any, or not YouTube on these particular subjects, on beauty products, on, on what to wear and how to live well and healthily in your 60s. And that's really what I wanted to find. And I thought, well, as I wasn't finding it, why didn't I start my own channel? Um, like I say, it's not to say and not to diminish anything that I watch at the moment and any of the fantastic women in their 50s and 60s and actually, to be honest, in their 30s and 40s as well in the US and in the UK. And actually, what I'll do is I'm going to list some of my favourite channels below in case you're not aware of them. So, for example, in the UK, I absolutely love Pampered Wolf and I found her not that long ago, actually, probably just a few months, maybe a year ago. But another channel that I've recently found in the UK, which I absolutely love, and that's Charlotte Holdcroft. Oh, she makes me laugh. She's so funny and she's so good and she's such an enthusiast. So both those women I absolutely adore and love, even though they're half my age. And actually, Pampered Wolf does feature Gemma, her name is. She does feature her mum as well sometimes, which is really helpful for me, I must say. And in the US, my very favourite channels are Tamara's Timeless Beauty. She's been such a great supporter. Maggie D, who I've collaborated with, who I absolutely adore. She's funny. She's real. I really enjoy her videos. And of course, all the other fantastic YouTubers who are doing so well, like Angie Hot and Flashy, like Pretty Over 50 like Lisa Monique, they're all amazing channels as well and I'm sure you're already watching them anyway. But I really did feel that there was a lack of British women and so that's why I started my channel. So I've had a varied career in my 67 years and one of my favourite jobs was being a professional singer in dance bands. I absolutely loved it. But you know, I knew that I was never going to make it. In fact, the pinnacle of my career was singing in a country band back in 1982 at the Wembley Country Music Festival where Box Carl Willie was headlining. Oh man, that was so much fun. Although I must admit, I did have to have a drink or two before I went on stage. I was so nervous but I just knew that I would never better that and I never really did after that but that's fine I accept that I just wasn't that talented but I did love singing and I did love being on stage and I come from a theatrical background my mother was an actress my dad was a producer so I lived in that world for a long time that's what I knew growing up and I really used to annoy my family my kids when I'd be watching television, I'd be pointing out what my mum had been in and who she'd starred with and all of that. So I'm great on a quiz team when it comes to celebrity trivia. And I'm still working full time at the moment. 
So what are my interests? Well, obviously you can tell that I'm a big beauty fan. I love makeup. I also love skincare, but I'm very keen to choose skincare products that I have checked out in terms of the science behind them. So I'm not one to just jump on the latest bandwagon without having checked it out first. So beauty, skincare, clothes. I love clothes. In the last two years, I've really missed wearing outfits to go out because of course we haven't been going out all that much although we are starting to go out a little bit more now which is great so I'm really into clothes I love live music the last gig I went to was just over two years ago at Ronnie Scott's in London where I saw Hamish Stewart from the Average White Band that I used to love back in the day I really miss going to gigs and I hope to start going to them soon. I have a grandson who I can take to the theatre which is fantastic. I took him to see Matilda at Christmas and, and I'm taking him to see the musical of Back to the Future in a couple of months. Now I can't imagine what that's like. <laughs> I hope it's going to be good because I love the film. It's one of my favourites and I love absolutely adore cinema. We have started to go out to the cinema again and I really miss theatre. Apart from the two musicals, I haven't actually been to any straight plays, but I do hope to go to some soon. And I love to read as well, although I must admit I've been a little bit lax on my reading front of late, because by the time I get into bed I read a couple of pages and then I've gone to sleep. So that's why I'm on YouTube really, because I want to share my passions, my loves for all things beauty and clothes, health and wellness, sometimes challenging things that we face as we go into our 60s and beyond. I really hope that you'll join me on this journey of discovery, because after all I've never been 67 and a half before, and I'm learning new things all the time, and I'm thanking YouTube so much for letting me share this, and letting me learn from all the wonderful women who are on YouTube. I really hope you've enjoyed this little ramble on and if you have please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel and I look forward to seeing you on many more videos in the future. Thanks ever so much. Bye.